is the Metal Chain and welcome to another tank review and today we are looking at the Ferdinand, Ferdinand the elephant or as I like to call it the piece of shit uh yeah I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm thinking about this tank and knew it all along and it is terrible like you would expect so let's look at the armor first so uh for the enemies that have 200 plus pen don't even matter where you aim. Like, sure, these parts are weaker, lower plate is weaker, but the rest of the tank is completely flat and around 200 to 210 armor. Sure, you can angle it a bit, and if you do, like, you get 205, 211. It's amazing, I know. 217. The average tier 8 heavy tank has over 220 pens, so none of this really matters. Average tier ATB has uh, around 260 pen, so none of this matters in any shape or form at all. Holy fuck, 225! Good lord, that armor, man, that armor. And for the tanks that don't have 200 plus pen, you always have these zones. All this part, both sides, is actually pretty huge. 114 millimeters of armor, so if you're driving a tier 5 light tank, and you wonder where to pen Ferdinand frontally, because you're too lazy to drive to its huge ass fucking barn of a side, then you can always just shoot him here, and in the lower plate as well. This I would not recommend though. Uh, also, of course, you can shoot through here. I mean, it says absorb, but the, mil the amount of times where I've shot the Ferdy through a track and penned it, I guess you have to aim for the inside there. And then you can uh, then you can get the shot while this is shit is cro crossing a bridge and do damage as well while tracking him. So that is something you can. Well, I guess like as long as you shoot it in an angle that there's actually some tank behind there, then you should be able to do damage. Anyways, the rest of the armor: 80 side, 80 back, uh, 30 top. Huge target for Artie. I mean, 80s of like decent enough. I mean, and some of the lower tier Arties won't have enough penetration to HE rape you, but a lot of them will. And even if the they don't, like if they miss you, you're still gonna take huge amounts of damage. So yeah, that's the Ferdinand armor. I guess we still need to talk about the gun mantlet, right? Can't miss uh, miss it out. So the only experience I have uh, had in getting shot in the gun mantlet, Ice Tree actually penned me here in the gun mantlet, right next to the gun. It says absorb, but I actually, the one time I got shot in the gun metal that I actually noticed was the IS3 actually pen in the gun metal. But on paper, the values seem to be pretty insane. So, yeah, do not shoot it in the gun metal. Unlike the Russian TDs, though, this gun metal is a tiny portion of the Ferdinand's front. So, not that many people in general shoot you in the gun metal. That being said, let's look at the replay while mumbling around the rest of the stats. And also, what the fuck even is this? I don't even know. Whatever. Uh, let's get into the replay. And here we go. Playing Lakeville. Quick disclaimer for all the haters that love the Ferdinand. Uh, I am playing this with not a hundred percent, not even a basic hundred percent skill crew. So clearly, I hate the Ferdinand because I have a bad crew in it. That's exactly why it is. And uh, for the rest of you, let's look at the stats and compare to. Similar TDs or just better TDs like the Yak Panther 2. So, 1500 hit points, got buffed recently. It's a pretty healthy amount of hit points now for a tier 8 TD. Top speed forwards, 30. Top speed backwards, 10. Power, 840. Power to weight, 12.64, which actually isn't that terrible. But uh, the uh, stats are absolute ass, so it gets completely raped. The soft stats on this, uh, like on medium terrain, is almost almost two times worse than on something like a Yak Panther 2. So, yeah, it, it's pretty bad. And uh, gun elevation 14, gun depression 8. I didn't mention this. And uh, the angle, I'm pretty sure, is 30, uh, 15 degrees in each angle. Which also, I think, is better than on the Yak Panther 2. But then again, the traverse on the Yak Panther is so much better that it isn't really comparable, really... Uh, when it comes to the gun, 2,512 DPM, they actually did buff the Ferdinand to match the Yak Panther 2 now. Uh, 490 Alpha, 246 penetration. The reload time on the Ferdy can get down to slightly below 10 seconds, I believe, at the end. Uh, uh, aim time 2.3, accuracy 0.35. Uh, the, some of the soft stats are slightly worse than on the Yak Panther 2, but the rest of the guns are... Well, rest of the stats on the gun are exactly the same as the Yak Panther 2. So, 
We looked at the stats and it looked like the Ferdinand is just the same as the Yak Panther 2 and I fucking love the Yak Panther 2 so why the fuck do I hate the Ferdinand? Well first of all because it goes forwards 30 and second of all because Yak Panther actually has better effective armor than this piece of shit. If you go hull down with the Yak Panther you can bounce a lot bigger guns at a lot meaner angles than this thing can. You cannot really angle the Ferdinand and you cannot effectively go hull down in it either because your weakest part of the armor really is the superstructure. I mean, it's equally shit as the hull, but you know. The Act Panther has a shit hull but a really good superstructure. Like, look at that. I got penned by a T-34-3 shooting AP and the guy's red. It's not like he knew my weak spots, he just hit them. Because, you know, it's a Ferdinand, it doesn't have any fucking armor, and for a tank that goes 30, it not having any fucking armor is pretty damn sad. Then again, that being said, this tank is still glorious, epic, tier 8 tank destroyer compared to something like a T-28. I'm pretty sure the T-28 prototype is just flat out better than this, but the T-28 deserves a special kind of hell. Uh, AMX AC-48 is also worse than this, in my opinion, but... But uh, the prototype and the pretty much all the rest of the TDs are better than this by by 200 million billion percent. Even the AT-15 is like godlike compared to this dog shit of a fucking excuse of a diarrhea that they call the Ferdinand in this game. All right, let's look at some positives. The gun is nice. I mean, it's the same gun of the Yak Panther 2. You have a lot of hit points. So yeah. You can be a good piñata for the enemy team once they track you. And uh, have shitty camo, have shitty view range. Uh, what else is there to say? I mean, good things, good things. Let's think positive. Let's think positive. So people don't don't uh, like blame me for being a hater. What 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 does Ferdinand do good? It doesn't snapshot good. That's for sure. I mean, I could have aimed that shot a bit longer, but not by much. But yeah, snapshotting is something you don't really want to do. We're gonna shoot the enemy for the night just because we know how dangerous these tanks are when you leave them alone like this. A bit unfortunate this timing though, as uh, they are going to get unspotted and I can just only guess. Should have aimed a bit more to the left here, but uh, I am a bad player, so I didn't. Anyways, they get away and uh, we are going to take the next 38 minutes to turn our hull and drive a bit forward so we can get a different angle and shoot some other people in the face. It really all comes down to the fact that the, this tank is quite over tiered in this game. I mean, this gun is pretty nuts if it was any other tier, so you kind of get it. But at the same time, like, the armor you have is completely irrelevant. Like, it literally, the only purpose of this armor, apart from bouncing one shot in the entire game, is to, is to slow you down, and obviously that works against you to the max. Uh, it's literally like the Yak Panther 2 only slow. Like, that's the Ferdinand. It's slow Yak Panther 2. Oh, can we bounce to 59? Oh, we did bounce the guy with 80 penetration. Well done, Ferdinand. Well done. I'm proud of this uh, this game now. We bounced the we bounced the 59-16 shot. Very, very well done. Well done. But yeah, going back to the point, like... Most German tanks in this game carry a completely useless amount of armor, like the Tiger, like the Yak Panther as well. I mean, they do have some of the armor, and in real life, in World War II, the armor was extremely effective. The Panther as well it goes into the same category. But in World of Tanks, they're over-tiered and facing tanks that just rape their armor. I mean, most tier 8s can just flat out frontally pen the Ferdinand. Most tier 9s don't even have to aim for this. S tier 7s have to aim for weak spots and tier 6s as well. It's not like they can't pen you, they just have to aim for weak spots a bit. And uh, yeah, this like it's just completely out of tier. I mean, this, as I said, this gun would be insanely hard to balance at any other tier, but the armor is just so pointless on this, and that's like the selling point of the Ferdinand, and it doesn't really sell this tank very well at all. But wait, there is more. I completely forgot the best part about the Ferdinand is that its crew is exactly the same amount of uh, members as the Yak Tiger and the Yak Panzer, so yeah, that's why the Ferdinand is better. If you don't want to have to, you know, retrain your crew later on, or you don't want to have fun in the Yak Panther 2, you can always play Ferdinand, and you'll fucking have fun, in quotes, 
bouncing of panthers uh, while uh, training up all the crew you need for the Panzer, which for some of you might actually be a big deal, but uh, like seriously, just play the Panther 2 and don't be an idiot, is my advice to you. So the equipment I use on this is rammer, uh, vents, and uh, binos. Some people were saying like, why, why are you using uh, ventilation on a Ferdinand, you retard? But uh, to that I answer like, I mean, if you say that ventilation is not good, ventilation is better for aggressive kind of play and gun length drive is not even good in any way, like sure if you camp like slightly better aiming time I guess is nice but the ventilation improved all the other stats plus the accuracy and everything so even for a camping player I think ventilation is a better choice than uh, than uh, gun length drive but I guess you can do whatever the fuck you want or you can put a cam on it and be an idiot as well if you prefer not really sure where the fuck my shot went. His shot went into the house, but where did my go? I don't know. I don't think he thought that I won't be able to damage him here, but uh, this should do the job. And it does, and that's a GG. And here is the end plate. Ace Tanker, 2156 experience earned, 5291 damage done, 546 assisted. Pretty good matchmaking for me, and it kind of worked out exactly like I needed to. We cleaned up the city, and then I could turn around and shoot the rest of the fuckers. 1,437 experience earned with, uh, well, base experience earned with 5 kills as well. And now the big question that everybody always asks me on stream and on YouTube is, should you get the Yak Panther 2 or the bigger, slower Yak Panther 2 with more crew members, but uh, pointless amount of frontal armor that does pretty much absolutely nothing? apart from slow you down, and the answer to that is that you should get the Yak Panther 2. But then again, some people are into self-harm, I can't really blame you, I mean, playing this game so much, I guess I am into self-harm as well, but uh, yeah, Yak Panther 2 over Ferdinand any time of the day, every day of the week, every week of the fucking month, and every month of the year. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching this review, and I'll see you guys on the next one.